Hi, I'm Dylan with Class Dojo, and in this video, we'll be discussing the classes section of your school's Class Dojo directory. Before we go any further, it is important to note that many of the capabilities I'll demonstrate in this video are only possible with an admin or school leader type account. So if you are not able to take some of the steps I'm about to describe, that might be why. Okay, to navigate to the classes section of your school's directory, first click directory on the left hand side of your screen and then click on the classes tab. From here, you'll be able to see how many classes may already be active within your school's class dojo account. And on the right hand side of this section, you'll have a button new class, which is where you'll be able to enter the class name and grade level for a new class that you may want to create. Once you click create, that newly created class will appear under the classes section of your left hand menu. The new class button that appears in your classes tab is the same as the new class button that appears in your classes section on the left hand side. The next section down is a search bar where you will be able to search for any of the classes already active in your school's directory by name. Further down, you'll be able to see all of the classes that are currently active within your school's directory. The classes are organized by grade, starting with your highest grade level class at the top and your lowest grade level class at the bottom. The last thing to note in the classes section is the drop down menu that appears next to each class listing in this section. If I click on this drop down menu, three capabilities are revealed. One is the ability to add co teachers. This is the ability to add any staff member to your school's class dojo listing as a co-teacher to a particular class so they are granted certain capabilities in that class, such as giving points, messaging parents, posting to the class story, etc. The next capability is transferring ownership. This is the ability to transfer ownership of the class from whichever staff member was the previous owner to a new staff member. This can be useful in various circumstances. For example, a staff member might be going out on parental leave and you need to transfer ownership of the class to the long-term substitute teacher taking over. The last capability is archiving classes. This is the ability to remove old or unused classes so that you can keep your school's dashboard organized. If you choose to archive a class, it will appear in your archived classes section and you can always unarchive a class if you need to regain access to information from a particular class. That brings us to the end of this video on the classes section of your school's class dojo directory. Thanks for watching.